Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the U.S. tech stocks. So we haven't closed yet, but this has been a very mixed day and quite volatile at, at some points. Uh, so this is going to be my daily forecast for the indices and the tech stocks in the United States for Wednesday, November 11, 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We also have a service over at Patreon where over 50 traders have already joined. On the, we have basically been open for a week. So that has been very successful. And you'll get access to our signal service and you will also get access to our full technical analysis for the commodities market at first. So we'll look at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we hit yesterday major, major resistance up here. Basically broke through and then we pulled back. Today, we pulled back even more and then rallied. At this point, we are only up 0.01% at this point. But it is just a matter of time before we go lower. It is inevitable. Uh, if you just look at these technical indicators, they are moving slowly, but they are moving to the downside and not the upside. Uh, MACD is quite far away, the signal line. RSI is turning around, CCI is very negative, the same goes for the stochastic, and we have touched the top of the Bollinger Band. And all of these are major, major signals that we are going to go lower in this market. So the question is, how low? The first of all, we'll reach uh, support here at uh, 3,438. And then the most likely the 50 moving average or the 100 moving average will be major support for this market. There's no interest in basically buying it right now. That is very risky. It is possible to sell it, but that is also very risky. The best option here is just to wait until we get as low as possible in order to buy. And best possible position would be down here at 3,233 uh, uh, points. So if you look at the Dow Jones, we can see that we rallied again above these previous highs. And at this point, we are just waiting for this market to absolutely collapse. So we need to fill this gap, first of all. So we are heading towards the 50 moving average. It is unrealistic to expect that the Dow Jones just goes absolutely bananas. The reason why we um, jumped here, rallied, is because of the vaccine. And the vaccine is not coming for several, several months. And there will be a lot of hardships in the, in the world economy in the meantime. The technical indicators for, for Dow Jones are looking uh, worse by every day. The still the MACD is uh, very bullish. The other indicators are looking significantly worse. And that is a sign that we are going to go lower. It is possible to, to sell this towards the 50 moving average. That is possible. We could even go as far low as uh, 26,000 uh, points. And that, of course, would be massive, massive support at this point. So, so getting it, buying it as low as possible, that is the right trade for these indices. So we look at the NASDAQ. We can see that we have pulled back all the way down to the 50 moving average and then pulled back significantly. I think that we are going even lower. I think we are going to break the 50 moving average. We are most likely going to trade very choppy um, sideways. But these technical indicators, and because of the, uh, that we are only at the 49 in the RSI, and these technical indicators are just about to turn around, is a signal that we are going to go significantly lower. So if the 50 moving average breaks, then we're going down towards 11,200. If that breaks, then we're going all the way down towards 10,677. I know that sounds far-fetched, but people are hammering tech stocks at this moment. So tech stocks are, have, been, um, have been rallying ever since the beginning of April or in the March. They have been rallying and they have been flourishing in the period of the coronavirus. And the coronavirus is mostly coming very slowly to an end. There'll be a lot of hardships still in, the, in, the, in this period, but there are several vaccines on the way. 
and that will basically improve the world economy. Things are going to go not completely back to normal, but a little bit back to normal. And therefore, um, companies like Zoom will technically become irrelevant. And I mean irrelevant because it made no sense why uh, technologies like um, like uh, video conferencing, like Zoom, sh- should have become so popular in this period. There were so m- many other companies that provided the same service. And therefore, when the coronavirus is basically over, Zoom will be a stock that everybody shorts. And, and therefore, it will affect the, the NASDAQ. Um, the same goes for many other of these stocks like Netflix and so on that got hammered today. That, that uh, not, not today, but yesterday, I mean, that, um, that, um, that will affect negatively for the short term for the NASDAQ. So if we look at the tech stocks here, we have Google. Um, Google fell uh, 1.3% today. It is going to fall lower. Technical indicators for Google are looking dreadful. We were overbought, and therefore we're going to probably go all the way down to the 50 moving average. No one is basically buying this. This is going much lower for the next uh, few trading days. If you look at Facebook, Facebook uh, pulled back all the way down to the 100 moving average and then pull back above the 50 moving average. I think Facebook is going to stay within this area for a few days, probably one or two, three trading days before we rally again to the upside. 100 moving average has proven to be the significant uh, support for Facebook stocks. So don't expect it to break that. It's basically buying as low as technically possible because, well, this is Facebook. It is a very popular stock, very popular company that everybody uses all the time. So if you look at Google, not uh, Apple, we broke down a little bit towards the, the 40 exponential moving average. We haven't touched the 100 moving average yet. We may do, if you look at stochastic and also the Bollinger Band, we may break this, uh, this uh, 20 moving average here and head towards 100 moving average at $110. That is possible. Uh, at this point, it is very difficult to trade. Apple stock because technical indicators are all over the place. MACD is flat, RSI is flat, uh, CCE is fairly uh, bearish at this point, but stochastic is very bearish. And uh, yes, it is just a matter of if it breaks down here, it is a buy uh, and so on. So we look at Microsoft, Microsoft pulled back significantly towards the 100 moving average and found support there. I think the Microsoft is going even lower. We're going to go towards the 150 moving average at $201. Um, technical indicators for Microsoft are very, very negative at this point, all of them, and the, there's a lot of room to the downside. We're at $46 at, uh, 46 at the, uh, the RSI, so there's a lot of room to the downside. So. Keep that in mind, it's possible to get uh, Microsoft cheap down here. Netflix had a dreadful day yesterday. We pulled back quite significantly today, around 2.1%. And at this point, we're probably going towards the 50 moving week average again. Um, we, the technical indicators are all over the place. So, so it's, uh, it's a little bit difficult to say whether or not we can rally straight away to the 50 moving average, but this will be our first target. And the next target will be these highs and then the very highs. So we may stick around here for a while before, uh, until these technical indicators basically turn around to the upside. Um, some of them have, RSI is very, very bullish, um, but the other ones are very negative still. So wait until the stochastic turns around the cci turns around and that is an indication in order to buy this amazon fell significantly and this area here 2952 will be absolutely amazing to enter for a buy for amazon stock we have the 150 moving average right underneath so this should be significant support and you can basically buy it all the way to the 50 moving average to these highs of 3369 and then to these very highs of 3500 this is amazon this is the world uh the world the way we are going to buy um, goods uh, in the future 
is not going anywhere, even though COVID uh, is coming to an end. So it is possible to buy, buy this at this point and get a very good deal out of this. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point. We need the stochastic turnaround, we need the CCI turnaround and so on in order to get a signal. But down here, this should be massive support and a possible buy-in. So hope you find this helpful uh, video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to go over to Patreon and join us and get our signal service and our full technical analysis. Thank you and good luck.